Hey, you guys. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you guys. Hey there. Hey there. It's Kat here. Hey there, Course Crush crew. What is going on, you guys? I hope that you're having a fantastic Monday uh, as we are getting ready for the 4th of July. Hang on. Let me come over here and cut this off. Uh, oh, there go the kids. The kids are outside. Uh, listen, you guys, I hope that you're having a great, great Monday heading into Independence Day, heading into Independence Day. So I wanted to make sure that I came in and uh, wished you all a happy, happy 4th of July, happy Independence Day, and for the entire month of uh, July, for the entire month of July, we are uh, getting past your fears, getting past your fears as it relates to uh, uh, building your courses, teaching your courses. Hey, you guys, who's on? I see you guys on. Say hey and what's up. So I know that you are there. Hey, Yolanda, how are you, honey? Thank you for coming in, baby. I appreciate that. Um, please leave me a, uh, put something in the chat so I can see who you are and I can greet you properly, okay? Um, so all throughout the month of July, we are dealing with any fears as it relates to building out your courses. And one of the biggest challenges that people have is with their webinars, okay, with their webinars. So we are, so next week, next week, make sure that you are signed up for the challenge. Hey, Coach Lisa, what's going on? Hey, Latrin, nice to see you, honey. Thanks so much for coming in, you guys. Uh, listen, please share out if you haven't already. And make sure also that if you haven't already, that you are signed up for the uh, webinar challenge. Let me go ahead and get the link. Um, if you're not sure how to properly conduct a webinar, you're a little bit nervous about it. There is no uh, need to be nervous anymore. Hang on, let me put this right here. Bloop. Uh, here we go. All right, there it is in the chat right there. Um, uh, catteach.me forward slash webinar rock star. So listen, hey, Tammy, hey, baby. Listen, if you are a little bit nervous about doing webinars, this is your opportunity to work with me, all right? So I am going to help you with that. And I was just over on the Facebook page and I was saying that, that I have always been a behind the scenes girl. Believe it or not, I just got on social media. I just got got on social media, those of you all who've been following me for the last year, you've been following me for um, about a year, about a little over a year, um, maybe about a year and a half. If you've been following me, then you know that I am fairly new to bringing my business online. My business has been offline for more than 15 years. Okay. My business has been offline. I was not a social media girl. Thank you, Tamisha. Hey, honey. I was not a social media girl. I was not an out front person. I have always been behind the scenes. I was a journalist. My very, very, very first career was as a journalist. I thought I was going to be um, a writer. Um, well, I am in a sense, but I thought I was going to be doing it as a journalist. So I went to school for journalism and, and I was behind the scenes. Uh, writing articles for newspapers and publications. And I was happy with that. And when I did become an instructional designer, I was behind the scenes. I wasn't the out front girl. I wasn't on, when I was a journalist, I wasn't on TV. Hey, Tamisha. Hey, babe. Uh, hey, Deborah. What's going on? Hey, hey, hey. I wasn't on TV. I was a writer. I was behind the scenes and I was happy with that. I was happy with that. Building courses for people, I never had to be on a camera. I was just behind the scenes, creating things for people, helping other people, teaching other people how to do it. And it wasn't until Deborah's been 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 um uh, rocking out with Cat the Course Builder for a minute. So Deborah, you know from way back when, you know when it very first started. And so I understand not wanting to be out front. I reluctantly did this. It wasn't something that I planned to do. So I'm saying this to say, I get it. I so get it. So I want to help you get past that, though. I want you to get past your fear of doing webinars. All throughout the month of July, we are getting past your fears as it relates to teaching what you know. 
Because if you don't get past it, if you don't get past it, I'm telling you, you are going to hinder the money that you can make in your business. You're go it's going to hinder you. Okay, so I was talking about over on my Facebook page, I don't know if you all caught that or not, but I was talking about over there that your audience is, they, they want something from you, but not only do they want to learn from you, but they want to learn in the way that they want to learn. Like you can't dictate what people want from you. And I had to learn that. I had to learn that because, because working offline and building up my client base offline I didn't have to worry about that. I really didn't. It was really easy for me. You know, cat, we need this. Cat, you know, can you teach me that? It was really, really simple. But when you come over here in the digital space, you have to realize that it's a different ball game. That you can't just dictate to people what they want and what they want to learn. You understand what I'm saying? You have to ask your audience the right questions questions to know what it is that they want, to know what topic you should even be presenting to them on a webinar. What should you even be talking about? So listen, if you have signed up for the webinar challenge, the challenge, if you have signed up for it, then we're going to be talking about it. I'm going to share with you three questions that you should be asking before you do any webinar, questions that you should be asking your audience. OK, before you decide on a topic, I'm going to tell you exactly those questions, those critical questions that you need to be asking. Those of you all who don't know how to put together a conversion PowerPoint, a conversion presentation. Did you know that it's different? Did you know that it's different from just like your regular run of the mill PowerPoint? So if you're just trying to put together a PowerPoint, you're like, oh, let me just go on Fiverr and put together a PowerPoint. No, and then you wonder why you haven't made any money on your webinar. Why? Because there is a formula to it, okay? There is a formula to it. It's formulaic, okay? So I am going to be teaching you, all right, those critical, those three critical slides that you have got to have on your PowerPoint if you want to convert, okay? So you want to be a part of this challenge. At the end of the challenge, you are going to be way more confident. You're going to be confident and you're going to be ready to set up your very first webinar. OK, we're going to get past your fear. We're going to get past your insecurity about the webinar. We're going to talk tech. We're going to talk technology. I'm going to share with you the system that I use for my webinars. I'm going to share with you the features that you need to include. All right. No matter which system you choose, you need to have these critical features um, um, in that system. So we're going to talk about that next week in the challenge. It starts on Monday. So make sure that you are signed up for it. Uh, there are lots of people already signed up for it. And I want to make sure that you are in there as well so that you can get an understanding of why webinars are so important. Like, you know, you need to do them, but maybe you don't really understand how it fits into the whole grant scheme of your um, of your plan of your of your funnel how does the webinar actually work how do you actually make money on a webinar how do you make that how do people make thousands of dollars on a webinar all right so we're going to talk about uh we're going to talk about that next week as you're working through your challenge those of you all who are a little nervous about doing your webinar you won't be by the end of it, I'm going to demystify it. I'm going to debunk all the myths about it. And we're going to talk about how it plays a part into your overall uh, 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 overall growth strategy for your business, okay? I want you all to get past the fear of webinars, okay? Does anybody have any questions for me? I've got to get ready to head out, but does anybody have any questions for me? Any any last minute questions before I go? Make sure that you sign up for the challenge. OK, I put the link there. At least I think I put the link in there. If I didn't, let me put it in there. Um, does anybody have any? Oh, yeah, I put it in there. Does anybody have any questions for me before I go? All right. I'm going to look at the at the at the clock and we're going to count it down and see um, if there are no questions, then cool. Cool. All right. I want you all to have a, a safe, 
4th of July. Say 4th of July. And July is all about independence from fear. Independence from fear. Let's get away from your fear, whatever it is as it relates to building out your courses. The first thing we're going to deal with is webinars and, and getting free from the fear of your webinars. Okay. And I was talking, I, I put a post up today. I put a post up about um, uh, focus and how as a business mentor, I see that most people, I mean, fear is, is, is fear. It ain't nothing but the devil. I promise you ain't nothing but the devil keeping you all from focusing on what it is that you have to do. It's like people are more like they want to focus more on that thing that they're afraid of than how to actually make sure that that thing does not come upon you. It was Job. Job said, you know, that thing that I feared the most has come upon me. It has come upon me. So I want you all to stop focusing on the fear and start focusing on the future. OK, I want you to start focusing on what you have to do. OK, I, 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 you know, what didn't work before, you know, Kat, I only had one person in my webinar. You know, I don't know how to get people to come to my webinar and all this kind of stuff. Listen, make sure that you are in the challenge. Make sure that you're a part of that next week so that we can talk about that. It's about action. It's about co course correcting. It's about, you know, that's OK. It didn't work out. That's fine. OK. It does. Sometimes it doesn't work out the first time. That's OK. But but focus brings about clarity. Focus brings about clarity. And the more that you do, the more it will become clear to you. OK, like it's kind of like learning how to drive. All right. It's kind of like learning how to drive. People you you can take that book exam all you want, but you got to actually get out there on the road. You have to actually have some experience behind you. You have to actually do it. And then you can, you know, you're going to build upon your knowledge and your experience. That's why your insurance rate goes down as you get more experience. Okay. So I'm just saying that, you know, when you have opportunities to, to, to stretch yourself, to grow, do it, do it. Do it. And then you can look that webinar in the face and be like, you ain't nothing but a webinar. Webinar by. OK, you ain't nothing but a webinar. So so that that thing does not give you it doesn't tighten up on you. It doesn't tighten your belly to the point where you just won't do it. OK, so we're going to get past that. All right. OK, you guys, I got to run, but I will talk to you really soon. Leave me some messages. Thank you. Hey, Brittany, what's going on, Brett? What's going on, lady? All right. Leave me messages. I hope to see you all next week um, in the challenge, but I will be back on. I will be back in the group. Um, I'm going to be sharing. I have some announcements to make about the group, by the way. I have some announcements to make about the group and some changes that are going to uh, be taking place. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I will be on this week talking about those changes and how you can be a part uh, some really exciting things that we've got going on for the group, okay? So look forward to that, all right? And um, I will talk with you guys soon, okay? All right. See you soon. Bye.